good morning to all uh, welcome to our channel so there is an important update regarding the appointment of vcs uh, yesterday the government of telangana has uh, uh, okay released the names of the new vice chancellors for uh, 10 universities uh, in telangana okay so this news has been posted in so many websites so i am showing you the uh, website of indian express and as well as the hindu all, all these things are verified and uh, uh, it is uh, it is uh, mentioned that the university has appointed a total 10 uh, VCs for the 10 universities. So this is the list of the VCs. Uh, before going into the details, uh, please subscribe our channel, like our videos and share our videos. Now for Usman University, the VC is uh, Professor D. Ravinder Yadav. Uh, then for Kakatiya University, uh, Professor T. Ramesh. Then for Telangana University, Nizambad, uh, uh, Professor D. Ravinder. Then for Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Open University, Hyderabad, Professor Sita Rama Rao. Uh, Potis Sri Ramlu, Telugu University, for Professor T. Kishan Rao. And Palamur University, Mahbub Nagar VC, uh, Professor Lakshmi Kant Rathod. Uh, then Mahatma Gandhi University, which is in Nalgonda, uh, that is uh, CH Gopal Reddy, sir. Then uh, Jawaharlal Nehru University, Technological University, that is JNT Hyderabad, uh, Professor Katta Narsimha Reddy. Then uh, Shatavahana University, uh, Karim Nagar VC, Professor Malaysham. Uh, then uh, uh, Jawaharlal Nehru Architecture and Fine Arts uh, University VC, uh, Kavita Daryani. So these are all the um, uh, honorable members, those who are appointed as uh, new as vice chancellors to these uh, 10 uh, universities. Uh, but in this, uh, there is uh, still uh, the VC is not appointed for RGKT Basar, which is Triple uh, IT Basar, which is popularly known as Triple uh, IT Basar. So for this, uh, the VC is uh, not yet appointed. So let us uh, wait. Uh, I mean, uh, it may take some more time to appoint the VC to that particular thing. But uh, in addition to that, Triple uh, IT Basar, uh, the VCs of remaining universities have been uh, uh, appointed. So now the VCs will uh, <coughs> come into, they will, uh, once they will take as the charge as a full time VC, then there will be a lot of developments, lot of changes uh, definitely will occur because uh, uh, Vice Chancellor is the ultimate uh, boss for uh, any university because uh, all the decisions related to the uh, regular or any specific things related to that particular university will be uh, in the hands of uh, a Vice Chancellor. It's a very, very important uh, uh, important position in the university in the topmost position in the university and uh, he's having control over entire university in any issue okay so any issue uh, in the university or out of the university whatever it is so any issue related to the university ultimately it will be finalized by uh, vice chancellor only and uh, uh, all the universities will have some affiliated colleges to it constituted as well as affiliated colleges so all the colleges uh, will be under uh, under uh, this vice chancellor only so if he issued one circular means uh, Definitely, uh, all the college has to follow it. So it is such a important position. So uh, basically, uh, coming to the improving the improvement of the infrastructure, like uh, improving the teaching facilities, improving the like uh, uh, study related infrastructure, and improving the other facilities, and uh, improving the uh, systems that are ongoing systems are there. So all all uh, such kind of things can be uh, really it can uh, make uh, new shapes uh, with the VC only. Without VCs, it is not possible. But uh, almost for two two years. Uh, uh, there was in charge VCs are appointed for the other universities and even some uh, universities uh, uh, they didn't uh, have uh, in charge VCs also for example if you take JNTH uh, he was the IAS person uh, okay Ms. Jayesh Ranjan uh, IAS was the in charge VC so like that uh, from 2019 to till date he was uh, in charge VC so but the in charge VC don't have uh, uh, full full powers like as the regular VC so now regular VC for example uh, uh, coming to the faculty recruitment or some uh, issues like this so in charge vcs uh, cannot uh, do this uh, only the regular uh, vcs those who have appointed and then only it is possible so now uh, and also there is a new board for tspsc also that is telangana state public service commission so as these uh, vcs have appointed and now the uh, tspsc board uh, and other members also appointed so now uh, it can be expected that uh, definitely there will be some uh, uh, jobs, uh, job notifications uh, uh, in the coming days. So these things can happen. So once we will look into the profile of uh, each and every candidate, first we will take uh, the JNTU, okay, the VC, new VC of the JNTU, who is nothing but Katan Arshumaradi. He was basically from uh, uh, Nalgonda district, okay. So he was uh, worked as a VC for uh, Mahatma Gandhi University in Nalgonda from 2011 to 2014. Uh, and after that, uh, he was actually a university, Osman University, and he's uh, working in the physics department. And uh, he was uh, heading the department now. And uh, uh, he was heading the department. And uh, in 2013, he retired. And uh, okay, so uh, now he appointed as a uh, VC for JNT University. Okay, 
Then next we'll take uh, Kavita Daryani, ma'am, uh, who is uh, appointed as the VC for uh, j and Fine Arts. Okay, so she was uh, like the architecture uh, department. She belongs to the architecture departments, and she is also having uh, experience in the various administrative activities in that particular uh, university or college. Then uh, this other one is uh, like uh, D. Ravinder Yadav. So he was uh, belongs to Varangal district and uh, is from Janagam Mandal. Okay. So, and he is also working in Osman University and he belongs to MA, MPhil, PhD uh, and also he was uh, worked as a principal to the University of Arts College and Tatikonda uh, Ramesh Garu, he also belongs to Varangal and uh, he is also from Osman University and uh, uh, he had uh, very very good qualifications and uh, so they also did that. These are all doctorate people, very very like qualification wise, experience wise, they are very very um, experienced people and uh, so he was worked also in different different colleges and he did various administrative positions. Next, Kishan Rao sir also he belongs to Karim Nagar. Then uh, Sita Rama also uh, he was uh, from Varangal district only. He was uh, he was working in KU K University Public Administration Department. So uh, sir also has got uh, enough experience and enough uh, uh, very very vast experience in administration also. Then Malay sir Malay sir uh, Professor yes Malay sir he belongs to Karim Nagar and. Uh, Okay, so in the so then he joined uh, okay, Usman University and uh, MA philosophy. He did M, 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 then he did PhD also. So 1992 he joined as a lecturer. In 1994 uh, he he was joined in Arts College. And then he went. He also worked as the principal of Anjam College. Okay, so now he was also appointed as a VC. Then Lakshmi Kant Thakur belongs to Mahabunagar. He is also served as uh, various administrative positions. Then C.H. Gopal Reddy sir uh, previously worked as the register of the uh, Osman University, very very uh, very much known uh, person to everyone. Uh, so he was also appointed as the VC, he is a very very vast experience. And Ravinder Gupta sir, uh, so belongs to the Yadavri Bonagari district and uh, okay, so he is also having very very belongs to the physics department and he is having very very uh, vast experience. So this is the list and uh, the brief profiles about uh, this particular uh, new VC appointed. So this is for information friends uh, because uh, once you are in the you are studying some university means you should know what happening in the university and uh, uh, who is the heads and who is the vice president the minimum information that every student has to know that's why so we are posting this video please uh, like our videos uh, share our videos and uh, uh, okay uh, thank you friends if you are not subscribed please subscribe our channel.